What's up everybody, Doc Dog1985, there's levels to this. I got a quick video for you guys tonight from console to PC. Let me tell you like this, make this as, as simple as I can, okay? I don't see myself buying a game unless it's on Steam. I'm gonna say it again. I don't see myself buying a game in the near future, in the foreseeable future, whatever, unless it's on Steam. See. I made a reaction video to the Xbox partnership showcase it, right? And some of the games that I was interested in, it wasn't that I was like maybe three of those games. The question that I asked, and rightfully so in my opinion, is, oh, is that game coming to Game Pass? I pay for Game Pass. So why would I not want the games to come to the subscription service that I pay for? That makes sense, right? So so don't don't try to knock somebody that uses a subscription service and they play the games on the subscription service and they want games that they want to play on their subscription service, which they're already paying for. Everyone doesn't have to buy everything flat out. But if I was to buy a game, I'm not going to buy it on Xbox and I'm not going to buy it on PlayStation. I'm going to buy it on PC and not only PC, I'm going to buy it specifically on Steam just because... I like the way it works better, number one. But number two, the biggest thing for those of you that don't know, when you move from console to PC, you realize that when you buy a game, no matter how much you upgrade your hardware, that game is yours for you to access whenever you want. There are games that are going to be stuck on the Xbox One. Some games are going to be stuck on the Xbox 360. Some games are going to be stuck on wh wh whatever console you could think of that you just won't be able to play unless you go ahead and connect and plug that console in. I'll give an example. If you own a PS5, the only way you could play PS3 games is if they've remastered them, remade them, or if you still got a PS3 around to go ahead and plug in. Xbox is at least doing a little bit better. But if you have a PC, if you bought that PC, and when you bought that PC, that game, when you bought it, you had a 1050 Ti. Right now, if you have a 4090, you can still play that game. Why would I buy a game anywhere else now that I have moved over to PC? That is a benefit of PC that is really, really underrated. Backwards compatibility to PC is funny, it's laughable. When they hear console gamers talking about backwards compatibility, they laughed at us. Because, of course, you should be able to access something that you paid for before. This makes sense. But now, I'm making this video because somebody tried to come out and make it seem as if I was wrong for asking if a game that I'm interested in is coming to Game Pass. They were trying to say, why don't you just buy the game? Look, dummy, I'll buy the game if I really want the game, but I'm still not going to buy it on Xbox. Xbox, to me, is Game Pass now. And this is what they have done. This is what they have promoted. So Xbox will not be getting my money on a game. They, they won't. It's going to go. Game Pass is where they can get my money. And if it is a game for whatever reason that's not coming to Game Pass and it's an Xbox game, let's say in the future, I know they're going to drop it on Steam. They could get my money through Steam. It just is what it is. I don't understand the whole shaming people for using the subscription service that they, <laughs> that they want. It's like the only subscription service that people decide to bash people on. Nobody bashes you if you use Netflix. Nobody bashes you if you use Hulu. Nobody bashes you if you use iTunes. If you subscribe to Spotify. If you really like that album, why don't you just buy it? What? Shut your mouth. You sound weird. Doc Dog 985 there's levels to this. Listen. I'm only buying games on Steam. It just makes sense to me now. We out. Peace.